How you doing today? Welcome to Mo's Math. Today we're going to do a problem. I call it sets between fixed ends. Let's review this. We have a nozzle here, a weld neck, and a nozzle here, a weld neck. We can't make any cutbacks or move the flanges in any way, shape, or form. Sets between fixed ends. We have two foot six up and down, and we have three foot left to right. And we're going to do this problem with no math. You can see I drew it up to scale here. Everything's square, plumb, and perpendicular. Drawing a scale. So we're dealing with six inch pipe. We have two foot six up and down elevation change, and we have three foot in a left to right fashion. Now we're dealing with six inch weld fittings. We're dealing with long radius 90s. A six inch long radius 90 equals nine inches. And that's a given. <clears throat> so anytime we have problems like this, we're looking for some information that we know, and this is predetermined by the manufacturer. So a six inch weld 90 has a radius of nine inches, or the takeoff is nine inches. So you see our square is perpendicular to our black dotted line and put a dot there at 9 inches. Now we're going to draw an arc with the radius of 9 inches going from that vertex there. If you were working on concrete you would use soapstone. I mean on a whiteboard so I'm using a book. Uh, erasable marker. Nine inches is the radius of a six inch long radius weld by 90. We're going to draw along. We have to come up with the angle of fitting here, the fitting takeoff, and the end to end. So what we did it was we, we drew it along, okay? That's a good result. We're going to go up on top, do the same thing up on top. Put a mark in. There. Compass is set at 9 inches, the takeoff of a 6 inch long radius weld elbow. This is basically drawn to scale. There you can see the end result. You've drawn that twice now. Both ends are complete. There's your end result. Get a straight edge or a snap line. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect these arcs. Now you want to line the straight edge over the arcs. Watch the arrows. We're going to get that straight edge over that arc.
as such. Align the straight edge over fitting one to your left, taking account for the thickness of the marker. This is fitting number two, the one up on top. That's what you should be looking at right now. That's your end result. That's your end result. The arcs were predetermined by the pipe size, and the two foot six and three foot is by our field conditions. <coughs> now we're going to take our square, we're going to put it over the black center line. We're going to put it over the black center line. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down until it hits the vertex. Okay? And we know that that has to hit at 9. Because the 6 inch elbow has a radius of 9 inches. So bring that square down the black center line. When that 9 hits that vertex, you nailed it. There's your fitting. Now that side of the fitting is 9, and this side of the fitting is 9. We're going to duplicate at top here. Of course, both, both fittings are the same because it's an in inline parallel set. Both lines are parallel. on it should look like this. <coughs> now we have to come up with the fitting takeoff. We have to come up with the fitting takeoff. We're going to draw a line perpendicular to each face till they hit in the center, which would be a vertex, and both of those would be equal. perpendicular to the face. Boom. Come off the other face. Perpendicular. Boom. There's a fitting takeoff. Three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Doesn't hurt to measure the other side. Of course, we know they should both be the same. <coughs> Three and seven eighths. That's your fitting takeoff. Keep in mind, we still don't know the still don't know the angle of the fitting, but we do know that the fitting takeoff is three and seven eighths. That will be cut out of out of a six inch long radius ninety.
and so far we have used no mass. We're going to verify the other end at three and seven eighths. Right now your layout should look like this. That green line is where the pipe was going to be. The red line is where it's going to be when we're all done. That is your angle of fitting. That is your angle of fitting. We're going to put the end of the rule here at the vertex where the marking pen is. And we're going to make an arc at 57 and a quarter. And we're, we're going to draw that all the way up, making that radius at 57 and a quarter inches. That's the arc we just drew from the vertex from the previous slide. And that was the radius at 57 and a quarter inches from that vertex. We're going to have to extend this line to the 57 and a quarter arc. So we're extending that black line until it hits the 57 and a quarter arc up here. You're going to measure the back on the 57 and a quarter arc with the stick rule. The stick rule bends perfectly to fit over that arc. We're going to pull a measurement off of that. This is very accurate. Measure the back on the 57 and a quarter arc. Your layout should look like that. That is your angle of fitting. Keep in mind, each one inch equals one degree on that arc. You've taken your roll and turned it into a giant protractor or compass or angle finder. So each one degree equals, each one inch equals one degree on that ruler. That's the point we need to read. There's our 57 and a quarter arc. The green was our angle turn. So you can see we have 46.75. So that is our angle of fitting. 46 and three quarters <coughs> out of a six inch long radius 90. And we know the fitting takeoff is three and seven eighths. There's your end to end right there in front of you. 
It's going to be right on the table. There's a better view. No math. So far we've come up with the fitting takeoff. The angle turn. And now all we have to do is measure the end to end off the table. 46.75 on the fitting. 3 and 7 eighths for the takeoff. We read the rule. We take off an eighth inch gap. And we have 2 foot 9 and 3 sixteenths. So there you have it, it sets between fixed ends and you're ready to go and we finish the drawing up by drawing a double line for you. So I hope you enjoyed this, there will be more of these to come and I'll talk to you soon.